The FTR is a fouling thickness and reflectivity measurement and control system for coal and biomass boiler applications. It provides non-contact, direct measurement of thickness and reflectivity of deposits, which build up on the water tube walls inside the furnace. The measurements are performed in real time and are immediately followed by calculations of optimal cleaning sequences, which are then automatically activated as needed. A sensor head periodically moves into the furnace for about two seconds. A laser beam creates a light spot on the fouling surface. A camera looking through the sensor head's optics detects the laser's reflection. When the fouling builds up, the image of the laser spot moves along the camera sensor. A processor analyzes the distance between the initial image, when the tube was clean, and the current image, and calculates the thickness of the fouling. The camera also records the intensity of light reflected from the fouling and compares it to light bounced off a calibrated specimen inside the sensor. These two values allow for the calculation of fouling reflectivity, the second parameter strongly affecting heat transfer in the furnace. A computer server analyzes data from all sensors installed in different parts of a furnace and makes executive decisions on which sequence of soot blowers to activate and for how long. The system includes a special electromagnetic sensor, which is attached to a blower motor. When a blower is activated, this sensor blocks the nearby FTR sensor head from deploying to prevent damage. All data collected by the FTR are accessible remotely for system analysis and diagnostics. Preparing a boiler for a typical eight-sensor FTR system with a two-person crew will require around three working days. This can be carried out during regularly scheduled maintenance outages. The rest of the installation takes about 100 man-hours, but can be performed without interrupting normal boiler operation. If needed, adding more crews would expedite the installation. An AMS representative will supervise the entire installation process, including startup, commissioning, and training. Preparing a boiler begins by removing one and a half by one and a half foot patches of furnace thermal insulation from locations predetermined by AMS pre-retrofit testing. Next, a mounting bracket is welded onto the furnace water wall membrane. This bracket will hold a Climax cutting slot mill supplied by AMS, which is used to cut a precision one half by one inch opening in the membrane. Then a small stud is welded above and below the new opening. A casing channel is bolted to these two studs and the area can be re-insulated. When all holes are cut, all casing channels installed, and all furnace thermal insulation reinstalled, the boiler can be put back into operation. The rest of the installation involves mounting the sensors and interconnecting all components. A two-person crew can accomplish these tasks in about six working days. So the entire process of installation, startup, tuning, post-retrofit testing, and personnel training can take two to three weeks. FTR was tested, inspected, and certified by TUV. It is protected by U.S. and European Union patents. It can be used on any kind of boiler which is equipped with a soot blowing system. The FTR system in this presentation has been in operation for more than five years on boilers of 400 to 600 megawatts. At this facility's 550 megawatt boiler, running under a constant load of 350 megawatts, data shows that the cleanliness factor of the heat transfer surfaces went up when the soot blowing sequences and timing were optimized by FTR. This led to boiler efficiency rising 0.2%. At the same time, the flue exit gas temperature dropped by about 70 degrees Celsius. Because the FTR system provides direct measurement of thickness and reflectivity of fouling, it allows for the optimization of operating conditions, thus improving heat transfer in the boiler in real time. FTR provides automatic activation of the optimal cleaning procedure of the furnace and convection pass. This helps to optimize the number of cleaning cycles, 
which avoids excess damage to the water tubes. In fact, the FTR system directly measures changes in the water tube wall thickness and quantifies the metal loss rate due to erosion. Ultimately, the FTR system is cost-effective. The increased boiler efficiency and reduced reheater spray can save almost a quarter of a percent in fuel. The use of compressed air, water, or steam for soot blowing is also reduced. Increased water tube life from reduced erosion and lowered flue exit gas temperature saves about 25% in annual maintenance costs. So the return on investment for the FTR system is less than two years. In short, the FTR system is the key for efficient soot blowing, which results in maximizing heat transfer in boilers. This proven technology is designed and manufactured by AMS, a 30-year-old company specializing in electro-optical systems for automatic inspection, power generation, and life sciences.